Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna log on to the Fidelity mobile app and I will show you briefly what their uh, platform looks like. And then we're going to purchase a stock together so you can know how to buy either fractional shares or whole shares of stocks and ETFs. When you log on, the welcome screen says, good morning, it's currently morning. And you can just scroll around and it'll give you market analysis and market news, but let's go ahead and log in. And there you have it, we're logged in. It says, good morning, Jacob. If you scroll down, it's just gonna give you what the markets are doing. The markets are currently open. We're gonna click on accounts. And as of right now, I only have the one account. I recently opened this brokerage account and put $2,500 on the platform. But if you had a IRA, if you had the Fidelity Visa credit card, if you had a checking account, all of your accounts would be displayed here. Let's go ahead and click on my individual brokerage account. And this gives you a summary of your balance details. Uh, if, if I had more of a history, this would show me a, a better snapshot of my history. Let's go ahead and click on positions. And I only have a couple of single stocks because I've been filming these tutorial videos. SPAXX, that is your settlement fund. So that's cash. I don't have 2,200 shares of a stock. So that's, that's dollars. But only one share of Apple, one share of Bank of America. Adobe, you'll notice, is a fractional share. I bought $10 worth, and that got me 0.022. I also bought $10 of Microsoft, and that got me 0.049 shares. If we scroll to the right, it'll just give you, you know, percent change for the day, uh, how, how, how is it doing performance for the day, current value in dollars, today's gain loss, uh, percent uh, total gain loss, percent gain loss since you purchased, uh, cost basis per share. I like seeing the 52 week range of what the high and the low over the last year has been. Let's see, equity summary. Uh, Schwab does basically like a composite of all of their analyst ratings to say what is our composite score on the stock. So Apple 9.5, very bullish. Uh, AT&T 4.2, only neutral. Let's go ahead and click on balances. And on the balances page, it just tells me what is my total account value. If we click on available to trade, I currently have a margin account enabled with Fidelity. So my non-margin buying power, how much cash do I have available to trade? 2,373. However, if you enable margin trading, they will double that for you so you can go two to one. Uh, definitely don't do that unless you understand the risks associated with margin trading, but it's there if you're interested. Under the activities tab, it'll just give you your history and your pending transfers and orders. This is super useful if you're looking to see dividend history or maybe any fees you incurred on whatever you've done with Fidelity, or if you're just trying to basically reconstruct your purchasing history for an individual stock that you're holding. Let's click on watch list, and this is pretty self-explanatory. Right now, you're just watching the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the NASDAQ, and the S&P. If there's a stock that you wanted to track, you would just click on add symbol. And we'll go ahead and put in JNJ, Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson successfully added. Okay, so there it is. So if we click on Johnson & Johnson, it'll then give us all the stock market information that we might want. Uh, you can add as many stocks as you like here or, or delete some if you don't want the general indices. Just useful information. Let's go ahead and click on the transact tab because that's why we're here and we're gonna go to the top and we're gonna click on trade. Okay, this is Fidelity's simplified trade interface on their mobile app. If you go to the top, right now we are looking at uh, purchasing either stocks or ETFs. If you wanted to do options, you'd select options. If you wanted to do mutual funds, you'd select mutual funds. And let's uh, go ahead and uh, look up JNJ because we're going to buy one share of that today. If you don't know the ticker symbol, you can always Google it. Uh, but if you know it, just type in JNJ or whatever company you're looking to buy. So here is the current share price information. The last agreed upon trade was 137.82. The bid uh, is currently 137.81. The ask 137.83. Buyers bid, sellers ask. That difference between the two is the spread. This is a very large, uh, highly traded stock. So the spread uh, for, for large companies like this is always very small. Above that for buying power, you'll notice it says 4,747. Even though I only have $2,500 in the account, 
because I enabled margin, it's giving me more purchasing power. The defaults when you open this account will just be a cash account. So whatever cash you've put in the account, uh, that is what you're able to buy and sell with. This is important because you're gonna get all these warning messages and error messages if you're trying to trade with funds that have not settled. Whenever you buy and sell a stock, there's usually like a two day settlement period. Uh, so if you haven't enabled your margin accounts, your Fidelity is gonna keep giving you these warnings saying, hey, uh, funds haven't settled yet. Uh, please, please wait for uh, two days or so. For action, we're looking to buy today. So let's go ahead and click on buy. And then for quantity type, you can either do shares or dollars. So if you are looking to buy a fractional share, if we only wanted 0.2, uh, uh, you know, 0.2 uh, shares of Johnson & Johnson. Underneath that, it gives the estimated cost 27.54. However, most people buying fractional shares, I feel like they wanna buy in a certain dollar amount. So if we only wanted to buy $100, uh, let's see, $100 of Johnson & Johnson, that's about 0.726 shares. Now, if you already own fractional shares of this stock and you buy an additional fraction, uh, Fidelity, Fidelity does merge those together, so you eventually do start uh, accumulating whole shares of a stock. Now this is pretty cool. With Fidelity's mobile app, you can actually purchase fractional shares with limit orders. If you're not familiar with market and limit orders, I feel like 99% of people watching this video, you're either doing a market order, which means you're guaranteed that the order will execute, but you're not guaranteed the price. If you do a market order on a large cap stock like this, you're most likely going to transact at the seller's ask price, so 137.73. However, if you are just you know a stickler for price and you wanna do a limit order on your fractional share purchase, that is pretty cool. Uh, so the buyers, uh, the, the, the buyers are all bidding at 137.65, and if that's the max amount you want to pay, you can type in 130. What was it? 137.65. That is not correct. That 137.65. Uh, so I would be then. Uh, saying my cost basis for this $100 of Johnson & Johnson per share cannot exceed $137.65. So if you do set a limit order, uh, you're guaranteed the price, but you're not guaranteed it will execute. I feel pretty confident that if you were to put in what the buyers are bidding, you will, you will get that. Uh, but for simplicity's sake, uh, we're just gonna do a market order today because we want it to fill. Now, if you're looking for more advanced trading options, you can click on more trade selections. And this will give you Fidelity's mobile expanded trade tickets, where if you go down to uh, order type, this is where you can get into stop loss, stop limit, trailing stop loss by dollar, trailing stop uh, by percentage. If this is all confusing to you, I made a separate video explaining all of these trading options. Uh, I'll, I'll link that down below. However, we're just gonna do a simple market order today uh, and we're just gonna buy one share of Johnson & Johnson because we want it to fill. Let's go ahead and click on preview order. If we scroll down, everything looks good. We can go ahead and click place order. Order received, we were given a confirmation uh, of our purchase of one share of Johnson & Johnson. This is cool, it gives you uh, plan your exit. Set an alert to when Johnson & Johnson hits your price target so you can buy or sell. So if you do wanna set mobile alerts for the price movement of Johnson & Johnson on Fidelity's mobile app, you can do that. If we go back to the accounts tab and click on positions, we can confirm that the order executed. It actually did take about a minute uh, for me to keep, keep refreshing before it is showed on my account positions page. I feel like on the desktop uh, interface, it's pretty instantaneous, but on the mobile app, it did take like a minute to refresh. So if we scroll over to the right uh, for Johnson & Johnson, we can uh, see that our total cost basis was 137.71, so that is the price per share that we bought that one share of Johnson & Johnson for. Okay guys, there you have it. That is how you purchase a stock or ETF or a fractional share on Fidelity's mobile app. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up so the algorithm knows it's good. In addition, consider subscribing to my channel. I talk a lot about finance and investing. And if you have any comments or questions, leave me one down below. I am currently working on a playlist of uh, investing with Fidelity videos. Uh, so definitely check that out. And until the next video, take care.